From the Linmar Video and Technology Center, we are LMTV, Linmar Television. A total look at everything happening on your Linmar campus. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's, Janu it's Thursday, January 19, 2012. And here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story, LMTV Live Sports is becoming so successful that they need your help. Today, for the Club Connection, Craig Johnson tells us more. Craig? Thanks, guys. Joining me is the executive producer for LMTV Live Sports, Gibson Akers. All right, Gibson, some people may have heard about LMTV Live Sports, but just don't understand. Can you tell us more about it? Well, Craig, LMTV Live Sports is, uh, we broadcast home football and basketball live, uh, games live on your computer, and we are the only ones in the metro area doing so. Uh, more than 1,000 people have watched our games this season. It is really cool for out-of-town relatives that uh, can't make it, like your grandma in Council Bluffs, to be able to watch what's happening here at Linmar. So if someone wants to join the live sports crew, what would they be doing in it? Well, just about everything. We rely on our crew to run the cameras, do coach interviews, post the score on the screen, and everything that else to make the show look and sound good. And you also earn, earn chords hours. Ah, wow, nice. LMTV does the show early in the morning. Do you have to be part of LMTV to work on LMTV Live Sports? Well, it helps, but you uh, don't have to be a part of LMTV in the morning to cover the games at night. So if someone wants to learn more about LMTV or LMTV Live Sports, what should they do? Well, uh, they should probably talk to me or uh, Mr. Fry in the school. Uh, at the LMTV studios in room J201 or talk to us before a game while we're setting up. All right, Gibson, thanks. Check it out, LMTV Live Sports. Watch for their live broadcast tomorrow night as our girls take on Kennedy. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Craig. I'll be sure to tune in. WPA is February 25th. The, the WPA dance guest permission forms are now available in the main office. If you are planning on bringing a non-Linmar date to WPA, you must get this form completed soon. We'll be back with more LMTV news right after this. Do you have a problem with your friends driving recklessly? With your friends endangering your life? I'm here to tell you that reckless driving is the number one cause of teenage deaths. But with new and improved Slow Down, you don't have to die. He's right. We should slow down. In the real world, there is no spokesperson to prevent reckless driving. There's only you. Speak up. Kim, pay attention. Welcome back. The time is now to prepare your act for the variety show. Auditions will take place starting February 6th. They're looking for comedians, singers, and much, much more. Audition will sign up begin January 25th. Keep it here to LMTV for the very latest. Now Katie takes a look at this morning's sports. Thanks, David. On the scoreboard, on Tuesday, boys swimming fell short to Dubuque Senior, 125-45. to Tonight in Linmar Sports, JV and Varsity Wrestling will travel to Prairie. Meet starts at 6 p.m. JV Basketball will play at Iowa City West starting at 7 p.m. Ninth grade girls basketball will host Iowa City West at 4 p.m. In other sports news, all guys and girls going out for track and field, there's a sign-up sheet in the athletic office. The girls' soccer meeting is for parents Monday night at 7 in the Lower Commons. Parents of players going out for girls' soccer this spring should attend. That's sports. Back to you, David. Thanks, Katie. In news from the counselors, the U of I is hosting a mini medical school program for girls February 4th at the Carver College of Medicine. For information and registration, go to the counseling website blog. For more on this story, stop by the counseling office or check out their website. Now Connor joins us with the arts and clubs. Thanks, David. On the arts and club scene, do you want to help build the set for Playtime Poppy production, The Jungle Book? Come to a meeting today after school in the Upper Common Study Hall. All grades are welcome. If you can't make it, see Mr. Buchenhagen. Contest speech participants. The district contest is Saturday in Monticello. Be in Mrs. Fry's room ready to go by 6 a.m. Saturday morning and bring money for lunch. Student ambassadors, listen up. Parent tours are coming this coming Monday, January 23rd. Please attend if possible. FCA will meet Friday morning at 8 in the auxiliary gym. See you there. The FFA bowling tournament is at Manchester this Saturday. If you are interested in going, please be sure to stop in Miss Lemmer's room to sign up. Meanwhile, FFA t-shirts are in. Stop by to pick up your t-shirt. If, you if you would still like to buy one, they are $5 each. And finally, FFA members who would like to go to the middle schools for recruiting, see Miss Lemmer today. 
math team will meet next Wednesday after school. If you are interested in participating in the American Mathematics Competition, or the AMC, please make it a point to be there. That's your club update. David, back to you. Thanks, Connor. Today on Channel 1, a closer look at the Stop Online Piracy Act, or SOPA, and the Protect IP Act, or PIPA. The two bills are aimed at illegal downloading. Critics say they go too far and will become a form of censorship. That's today at 3 on LMTV. Now Katie joins us with today's lunch. Thanks, David. It's a hamburger with corn, orange wedges, and a chocolate brownie. The other lines will offer soup bar with chicken tortilla or chicken noodle soup, chef salads, or an a la carte items. The food court serves soup in a sandwich. Back to you. Thanks, Katie. I hope you packed a scarf because your LMTV forecast calls for a very cold day. There's a high of 4, but tonight there's a chance of snow and a low of minus 3. Tomorrow, there will be snow, up to 5 inches of it, and a high of 13. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website or the, subscribe to the Twitter. From the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and make it a great day.